that you want to open? To God be the glory. Uh, all that he's He's done, he's doing, and he's going to do. Uh, just thankful for the opportunity he gives us. Uh, whatever questions you have, I'll answer. Coach, what, uh, what's Akron doing differently now? Than, if anything, from the first time you played them? Or, and I guess, how are they playing? Well, they, they won the last three. You know, they're a very competitive team. And, uh, you know, the max season is 16 games long, so, you know, we knew uh, over time, whatever, you know, they'd be, they'd be a team that would continue to get better. And, uh, I'm sure uh, their defense, And, you know, they, they, they got a chemistry now as a team, probably. I, I haven't, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not at their practices and I haven't seen all their games, but I'm sure that's that's two areas uh, where they've, you know, grown. But, you know, Akron is Akron. You know, they're, they're, they're a team that has tradition and, you know, they got – some upper class with leadership in these and Tenevic, uh Roberts. You know, they got some guys that's been there and won. So, uh, you know, you know in, in time that they were going to, you know, continue to grow and get better. Uh, Roberts is a Toledo native. I'm wondering when you look at stopping Akron's attack, where he's, you know, fits into that. Oh, well, it gives us no question. I mean, he, he's had some, uh, Big, big, big games and big shots. You know, he's he, he always a guy that, you know, in games, he, he always seems to, got to be a guy that gets open and hits a big three or you know, uh, just makes a big shot for them. You know, we've we seen it against us, uh, you know, a number of times. So, uh, you know, it seems like uh, he's been around forever, you know, but uh, I respect him. You know, he, uh, he steps his game up and, uh, He's not afraid to, to to take and make big shots. You know, and, and he's done that against us uh, since I've been. Anything BG has to do this time that you guys did not do the first time against them? Uh, you know, our turnovers hurt us the first time. The points off turnovers, uh, and, and and we're. You know, I feel like we're an improved team also. You know, our offensive execution is better. Uh, but you know we, we have to defend. They they shoot over 22 threes a game, roughly 22 or so threes, and you know at any one time they can have four players on the court that can make our good three point shooters. So you know that's always a concern. And then uh, they're big guys. You know, uh, Centenovic is a you know, just a competitive guy, and I think he's kind of the heart and soul of their team to me. Uh, Zeke Marshall, a young guy, uh, you know, got size and uh, seems to be a guy that's on the rise also. Uh, and then Brett McKnight is an inside-outside big guy. So you, you match those guys up uh, along with their perimeter guys. So you, you know, you got to guard. You got to guard because, uh, you know, they can put guys on the court uh, that can make shots. And then on the offensive end, uh, I mean, overall, you got to match their physicality, you know, and, and you got to compete. Uh, you know, you got to compete every possession, you know, but you got to match their physicality. Um, so, you know, you know the nature of the game, and, you know, that's something you know you, you have to you have to bring when you're playing against that. Are you looking forward to getting back home you know, and playing? Place it's always good to play home. Uh, having the fans, they've been great. Uh, you know, this is a really a, a, a special year for us, for a lot of folks. Uh, you know, the last year being in Anderson and, uh, is a, such a great tradition and history here. And 
to a lot of people that's been a part of this uh, tradition and history for a long time. So, uh, you know, every game uh, that we play here, in, in that sense, is, a, is, is special. So, you know, and then and again, for us, you know, the next game is the biggest game of the year, and you know, uh, every game counts, and you're always playing for a whole lot. And every time you step on that court, uh, there's a multitude of reasons uh, that you want to compete and do everything you can uh, to put yourself in a position to win. So, you know, it's just that time of year, but it's always good to, to be back, uh, be back home. Have teams done uh, more recently to take Scott Thomas out of the offense? Have you noticed that? It, I mean, he's still getting some shots, but maybe not. The, it seems like, maybe from my perspective, the teams are just trying to take him away more now. I, I think that uh, in our offense, I think there's a certain level of uh, physicality towards Scott, I think that they challenge him a little more in our offense. Uh, you know, he's uh, really, I mean, all around, he, he affects our game and so much. He, he, he's such an important part to our team. You know, uh, he's a guy that teams have to deal with, you know, whether it's scoring, rebounding, assists, you know, no matter what. So uh, I know they're conscious of him. And I, I think in our offense, you know, I think teams, uh, they, you know, they, they're, they're conscious of, of uh, I don't know how you call it, but maybe try to knock us off course. And, you know, and this guy's one of those guys. But, you know, hopefully when we play, we always hope the officials, uh, you know, you got to play legal basketball. That, that that's important, you know. You, you, nothing wrong with bumping and grabbing, and playing physically legal, but you know, holding and grabbing that kind of stuff, you know, and that's not legal basketball. So I think Scott deals with a lot, you know. You know and, uh, he's he's learned to deal with. It. We good? Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach.